Good afternoon and welcome to NYFP. In midday trade, we're seeing the major U.S. stock averages trade in negative territory. Joining me this afternoon to weigh in on what we've been seeing in the Eurozone today is Peter Costa of Empire Executions. Hi, Peter. Thanks for joining me. Thanks for having me, Remy. Well, it only has been in the spotlight today after the uh, vote for Berlusconi. Now, although he did win the budget vote, he did lose the majority in the parliament. In terms of the short term, what are you watching out from the Eurozone? Well, now this is a bigger piece of the pie if something happens with Italy. I don't think we're going to have the, the seriousness of what we saw in Greece. Uh, you know, Italy is a totally different country, although they've been, you know, their fiscal ways are probably very foreign to the U.S. investor. But it's also a country that produces a lot of product. They export a lot. I mean, they're, they're, it's a vibrant economy. So I think it'll be significant. I don't think it's going to be earth shattering for the markets. I do think we'll have that short term blip. Regardless of what happens over there, you're going to see some movement in, in the market. But I think long term, I don't think Italy is going to be the issue. I still think Greece, Greece is a major issue. But Italy, to me, they'll get it straightened out. You know what? And we'll go from there. Well, Peter, in terms of trading volume for the U.S. markets, we've been seeing light trading volume. And yesterday, we did see a gain at the close. And today, we're off after um, Italy. But in terms of uh, the short term for today's trading session heading into the close, what do you expect to see? Well, I think the market's probably going to stay where it is for until we get to about the, an hour before the close, which is when everything starts kicking in. A lot of different type of trading programs accelerate at that point. So you'll see some increase in volume. But the, the lack of volume that we we've seen since August is, is pretty disconcerting because there's trillions of dollars invested in U.S. equity markets and you're not seeing a lot of movement. And you do see some movement in stocks, but it's as far as volumes, the volumes are drying up. So that to me, you know, whenever you see drying up volumes, you do see more volatility because there's less liquidity in the market. Hence, you know, that's why we have these big moves towards the close. Um, I think you're going to see that again today. It may end up being nothing. You know, we may end up being down 75 points and, and have like relatively light volume. But the, the possibility of a late day surge in volume and, and trading, you know, movement is, oh, is going to be there until we get some firm volumes throughout the whole trading day, which is, I don't see that happening for a very long time. Okay, Peter. Well, last but not least, uh, based on what you just said, heading into the end of the year, what do you expect to see for the market? Well, you know what? I'm, I, as I've told you before, Remy, I'm very positive. Not, not very positive. I am positive about the U.S. equity markets. I'm not so positive about Europe, but I do think with a lot of corporations sitting on a lot of cash, uh, I still think that they have to move this cash somewhere. The one thing they're not doing is, is creating jobs, which is unfortunate. But, you know, as far as anything else is gone, you know, concerned with the markets, these companies are sitting, you know, they're sitting on a bonanza and they will either pay it out in dividends or they'll pay it out in, in a stock repurchase or possibly, you know, take over another company towards the end of the year. So you'll see an uptick in mergers, you'll see an uptick in, in uh, dividends, and you'll see some movement. And that's, and that's always good for the market. So I do think the market's going to end up on the plus side at the end of the year. Not huge, but we will be up. Okay, Peter, thank you so much for weighing in on all these topics and have a great day. Thank you. You too.